So I have started to strip down uh, my bike. Have removed all the parts, fenders, headlight, engine, gearbox, and uh, also I will remove the wheels, the front fork because uh, I will start to make uh, the final assembly. But before the final assembly, I have to rectify some uh, small problems that I have uh, encountered uh, when I have worked uh, on the bike. So. The first problem, it is on the engine. Uh, you have seen uh, my previous video with the uh, Chinese P PZ28 uh, carburetors, where I have shown uh, the goods and the bads of uh, these carburetors. And uh, after I have started the engine, there were some things that I didn't like and uh, I have investigated the problem and I have found out that I have a problem with the timing gears the problem it is that the camshaft it is new but it is Chinese from Changjiang it is the first uh, type which is the same with the with the camshaft for M72 or K750 from the Russians but uh, the key here, let me put some light. The key on the camshaft, it is not the same with the key on the camshaft on the Russian Swan. And because of that, the timing it is not right so I don't know if this position it is correct or, or wrong it could be correct because uh, maybe the Chinese factory may are making also the timing gears and uh, they have put their own position for the key and have, they have made another uh, position points for the timing gear or it is possible to have uh, a wrong position for the for the key and because of that we have uh, this problem but in order to, to determine the correct position of the camshaft of the timing gear on the camshaft we have a simple procedure which is uh, entirely correct and secure and by that I mean we have to put the piston on the top dead center also the the valves in the firing position that means in this uh, in this position on the top the top dead center now we have the firing position with the release valves as you can see the tappet is moving it is not attacked by the camshaft but here you have to this is these are the tuppets okay and when you when you are pushed inside in this position you need to have equal distance from the face of the tuppet until here on this face so this should be like this or this one more inside but in order to put this inside or this one outside if i move the engine Now I have a equal distance. This is just for a presentation. Normally you have to, to measure with the caliber, but in order to understand the procedure, we can put like this. So now we have equal distance on tappets, but as you can see, the signs are not in position also. 
the piston it is not on the top the center anymore so now i have to remove this cylinder because i have to take out the the camshaft and uh, you cannot take out the camshaft in order to uh, without removing the the cylinders and uh, you have to remove the cylinders because you have to remove the tappets and after that i will take out the camshaft put in in another position after that testing the position of the tappets and only when i when i will have equal di equal distance here with the piston in the top dead center that means I will, uh, I will have a correct uh, timing on the camshaft and the crankshaft. So after measurements I have uh, managed to put the camshaft in the correct position. This is the old sign and now you can see two teeth difference. And uh, that was a lot. I was able to start the engine with uh, this big difference only because i have made some uh, settings to the to the ignition I, ha I have retarded the ignition enough to to be able to to start the engine but it, it was not running uh, quite good and uh, first i was uh, believing that uh, maybe the carburetors are not fine I have tuned the carburetors, uh, I have tuned the ignition I was uh, reaching a point where the engine engine was running but it, it was not running good and uh, I have kept uh, this in mind and this is the reason because I have uh, verified again this, uh, this engine I will explain again the procedure to make this measurement for verifying the camshaft. It is simple, you just have to follow the steps. You are turning the, turning the engine until you see the inlet valve opening. You are turning again until it is closing. After the inlet valve it is closing, the piston will it will go out in order to reach the top dead center so that means you have the piston the cylinder and piston in firing position if you put the right cylinder in firing position that means you have to, veri to verify the distance of the tappets in the left part because in this side the lobes of the camshaft now are attacking the tappets are pushing the tappets and we can see this line here until here okay this is the distance it is the same the distance from this line here to here you can take out the bolts if you want and put the caliber it is uh, better this way I have made on this side I have uh, made the measurements with the caliber you have to use a caliber because uh, sometimes the tappets are not equal my tappets were rectified and the one is longer the other one is shorter not too much but uh, it is enough to to be needed to be measured with the caliber so if you have the equal tappets you can uh, verify also by eye let's say but this is the, pro the procedure you put let's say the right cylinder in the firing position and you are measuring in the left side if you have an engine with only one cylinder like that BMW R35 it is one cylinder engine you you will check, you will put the cylinder on the top dead center but not in the firing position. So now I have the correct marks, it is all verified, I just have to assemble the engine.